In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four petal options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first option, the step one. You can add the detailed text and icon with a light and dark color combination. When I click, it will show you the step two with a different color, step three and step four. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark grey color background then go to the view, enable the guides, go to the insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rectangle diagonal corner rounded. Just click it here. Height and width make as 2.95 or you can increase or decrease depending on the requirement. And you can see the small orange points towards the left. Just drag this inside. It comes like this, becomes like this shape. Select this one, bring it here one side, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. I'm going to fill this with white. Now hold the control shift key, bring the other side, rotate, I'm going to make it flip vertical. Then now I'm going to select both of these shapes, hold the control shift key, bring it down and rotate, I'm going to make it flip horizontal. So you can see here I've got this particular uh, shape. So now I'm going to select these shapes, control D to duplicate, I'm going to keep it aside for my later use. All right, then I'm going to add some three oval shapes here for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key, shape outline, make it no outline and make it somewhat transparent, make sure to align center, align middle. I'm going to add one more, press control D, let's give some different color, send back and hold the control shift key increase the size a little bit align center align middle we can see here and again one more time press control d to duplicate give some different color and again hold the control shift key increase the size a little bit and send back again align center align middle this is very big so let me just hold the control shift key and reduce the size so you can see here i have added three oval shapes and these four this uh, diagonal uh, corners rectangles okay the next thing which i would like to do is i'm going to select all these shapes you can see here i can just select all these shapes okay one by one by holding the shift key or you can just select by pressing ctrl a it's up to you so once this is done go to the shape format merge shapes and I'm going to make it a fragment. Just click the fragment. And here, I don't want this one, just delete it. I don't want either this. You can see here, let's delete it, delete it, delete it. And then I'm going to select this one and give a different color depending on the requirement. You can see here, I'm just going to give some random colors or any color of your choice you can choose and here i'm going to give maybe a purple and then you can see here there's one more again i'm going to give the same color but go to the more colors reduce the darkness okay you can see here again i'm going to select this one i'm going to select the same color more colors again you can see here i've got three like this so same thing i'm going to choose the same color Again, go to the more colors, reduce. Then the this also you need to do the same thing. Same color. Again, make it more lighter. Like this, you can see here. One by one, you need to just do it. Again, make it more colors. Reduce a little bit. Select the second one. Same color. Make it further reduction. Then comes here the purple, I'm going to choose the purple and again reduce it 
and here also reduce it again okay so you can see here we have uh, selected this one and we have given this particular different color combinations and then what you can do is you can remember that we have made this particular uh, shapes as a backup select this one press ctrl g to group it bring it here and i'm going to make it a solid fill and increase the transparency hold the shift key increase the size a little bit and send this to back and put it here exactly you can see here i end up getting a shape something like this and then once this is done you can go to the insert and make sure that this is ungroup okay because this will uh, help us in animation if it is group uh, it will be difficult to do the animation remember that then go to the insert icons you can just choose the icons depending on the requirements so i'm going to choose four different icons here so i'm going to choose one icon this one this one and this one click insert the four icons got inserted height and width i'm going to make it as 0.5 graphic fill make it white and start putting here the icons all right then once this is done you can go to the insert text box i'm going to type 01 i'm going to use the font maybe arial black right align increase the size and give the same color as we have used for this one the pink all right press ctrl d and i'm going to say step i'm going to give gray color i'm going to use the font only arial not the black okay and put it here select both of these shapes you can press ctrl g to group it hold the control shift key bring it down hold the control shift key sorry hold the control shift key bring it towards the left and make sure this is left align shape format align left all right and then hold the control shift key you bring it one here so this is my first step this is my second step this is my third step and this is my fourth step the only thing which you need to do is you need to change the uh, the font color as per the color which we have selected here all right so for this also i'm going to choose the purple color and here i'm going to use this turquoise color or the steel color okay so this is you can see here step one step two step three step four and add some detailed text here equals lorem within brackets one i don't need this much long text i'm going to delete it reduce the font size center align you can give some gray color and put it here align it properly okay so this is my hold the control shift key select both this one hold the control shift key and done that's it now we'll do the simple animation first of all i'm going to select all this here control g it becomes one group you can see here then i'm going to select the second option control g the third option control g and the fourth option control g so you can see here i have added all this uh, the the groupings and once this is done you can go to the animations and you can do the animation simple animation i'm going to choose one two three four select add animations more intense effects i'm going to select the strips click ok this strips this one should go from right left up this should go from right up this one should go right down and this should go left down okay 
all those things on click so if I play you can see here it comes like this even here the first option the second option the third option and the fourth option